There's a tweet going around that's saying that the botched Mother's Day photo from Princess Catherine was taken from Princess Catherine's 2016 Vogue cover shoot. Well, I'm going to show you some receipts. I think we can consider this tweet debunked. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness let's jump into this madness shall we so yeah um this tweet has been doing the rounds and has gone absolutely viral where it's creating the suspicion that Princess Catherine used a 2016 photo cover to create the botched Mother's Day photo. Now, the person in question is called Ruby Noldra. She actually works for the Daily Star. And here is her tweet from yesterday. My analysis of the Kate Middleton photo saga is that they took her face from the Vogue cover she did years ago and edited it in. Now, here is the video composite that Ruby did. And yeah, this is what it's showing, right, guys? Now, we've got Saviour to the Rescue at Adam Parker saying that he and Sam Doak 5 found metadata from the photo that has given them an insight into this botched Mother's Day photo, right? And was able to provide the details from this metadata. So Adam Parker says the image has been saved in photo editing software Adobe Photoshop two times on an Apple Mac. The first at 9.54 p.m. on Friday night, the second save was at 9.39 a.m. on Saturday morning, okay? The lens used is a Canon 58mm f1.2 lens. The metadata also reveals a model serial number. Using the Canon website, we worked out that the camera is a Canon 5D Mark IV. And they geolocated the photo to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, and the date is unknown. And here's some extra in information from the metadata pulled via Photoshop. The exposure was set to manual. So essentially, first and foremost, right, let's put it this way, okay? Um, hmm. Vogue is going to be using photographers that have better cameras than a Canon 5D Mark IV. They're going to be using state-of-the-art. This is Vogue we're talking about here. We're not talking about a little kiddie magazine, right? But the, the smoking gun out of all of this is that they were able to geolocate the photo and it was at Adelaide Cottage. The Vogue photo shoot was not in Windsor at Adelaide Cottage. So this whole situation here with Ruby Nalja saying, oh, uh, they used the Vogue 2016 cover to superimpose Princess Catherine's face then to the botched Mother's Day photo now is a load of BS. But you know what? Ruby has spoken out since the tweet has gone viral and explained, I'm in a group chat with my friends and like most people, we have been obsessed with the Kate saga especially after she admitted the picture was edited. We all started saying that we really recognised the exact picture of Kate and had seen it somewhere before. We sent around a few pictures that could work and tried merging them together to see what matched, but nothing was a perfect fit. I'm an avid reader of Vogue and the Kate cover is really iconic and it suddenly dawned on me that was the picture I'd seen before. I sent it to my chat and they all agreed instantly and then I merged the pictures together and it was pretty much a perfect match. I know a lot of people disagree and say it's normal for someone to look the same way, but the pictures are eight years apart and almost exactly the same. It's just a theory and it could be wrong. But I think the only real way they can put a stop to all these theories is by releasing the original unedited image. But by her own admission, she says pretty much a perfect match. Not exact match. Pixel for pixel, line for line. A pretty much perfect match but this is the thing right 
Adam Parker and Sam Doak, as far as I'm concerned, has blown the Vogue 2016 cover conspiracy theory out of the water by a being able to extrapolate the metadata and find out that A, the camera used was a Canon 5D Mark IV. Again, photographers for Vogue are not going to be using that camera. Decent camera, to be sure, don't get me wrong. But they're going to be using more expensive, more technical cameras than that. I am sure of it. But for me, more of the smoking gun is that they were able to geolocate where this photo was actually taken from. And it was at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. And the Vogue photo shoot for Princess Catherine was not at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, guys. This has been blown out of the water. The Vogue 2016 conspiracy theory, as far as I'm concerned, has just been myth busted. And this is the thing, right? It's not just me, okay, that disagrees with the Vogue 2016 uh, conspiracy theory. We have at Steve Lopfus here, or at Loster Steve, saying it's nothing alike. It's just the same face with the same smile because it's the same person. Otherwise, it's not remotely similar. Exactly. Of course, the faces are going a match. It's Princess Catherine. She's going to smile the same way. Her eyes are going to be the same way. Her face shape is going to be freaking the same way. Why? Because it's the same person. But it ain't the same image from the Vogue 2016 cover. Uh, we've got a Beekman Noko saying, wait, are you saying a photo of Kate Middleton looks like another photo of Kate Middleton? I have no words to describe my shock at this revelation. Loving the sarcasm, appreciating the sarcasm there. Uh, we then have at Corey Cullington saying, I doubt that somebody who butchers the other part of that Photoshop job would be all that adept at changing the lighting on her face. Going to go with nope on this one. And I would certainly agree. We've got at Israel Anderson here saying, wow, the same person has the same face. I know, right? Stop the presses. Breaking news. Wow. Princess Catherine has the same face. Oh. And the world is on fire. This is ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you've got Ian Zelbo here saying the lighting is completely different. Find it hard to believe that the same person who botched that Photoshop job was able to change the light on her face like that. And then you finally got at English Rose 543 here saying, wow, you've nailed it. Not. Uh, Catherine has the same smile. Hold the front page. Alert the media. Catherine is recognizable as she was a few years ago. This clearly means it must be the same photo. Truly pathetic. And absolutely it is. Truly pathetic. Everyone doing these conspiracy theories of where is Kate? What's Kate's health situation? Has she been lying to us? The conspiracy theories surrounding this botched Mother's Day photo. Guys, it's getting insane and it's getting absolutely ridiculous. And this video here is to point out the sheer insanity and ridiculousness of it all. It's stupid, guys. And for me, this situation with Ruby Naldrat and the whole Vogue 2016 cover theory has completely been myth busted by Adam Parker and Sam Doak being able to extrapolate the metadata and give us all the information to prove that guys, it wasn't, the, 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 Vogue, co the Vogue cover from 2016 was not used. Any photographer worth their weight in gold when it comes to shooting for Vogue is gonna shoot on a better camera than a Canon 5D Mark IV. In addition to that, the Vogue cover shoot did not happen at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. Yet, the geolocation data for this photo is confirming exactly that. Guys, the whole Vogue 2016 cover uh, shoot theory, myth busted. Consider it deceased, done over stop the madness stop the insanity it's absolutely crazy guys with that being said if you appreciate this video and you want more and believe me of course there's going to be more then make sure you subscribe to join our alt and her tribe i'll be honest with you help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a christopher boozy meltdown on twitter like share comment down below your opinion conspiracy theories whatever's also as well if you've got some very strong opinions about this and i bet you do then make sure you send me a super thanks it's 
just below this video right here, we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.